Christmas tree. Welcome to day one of Vlogmas. So today is Sunday. The day that you're seeing this is actually uh, Tuesday because we're kind of on a two-day delay here. Um, so that will hopefully help me from getting more overwhelmed than I already am. Uh, the, the idea of doing a video every day is a little bit challenging just because I've never done anything like this. Um, but I'm excited. And I'm excited to chronicle kind of our family's journey through the holidays. There have been some little things that I've been wanting to check off the list as far as cleaning projects or organization projects. So I the, the microwave was a disaster, but uh, it needed to be cleaned. And so I microwaved some water and vinegar in a cup. And then I just took a damp paper towel and just wiped the whole thing out. And then I sprayed it down with Thieves Cleaner and wiped it out again. And then I washed the glass plate that's in the bottom of the microwave. And then also I had been wanting to organize our uh, kind of game and coat closet. So I changed the direction that the boxes were. I can't remember who it was, but I saw somebody on Instagram do kind of a before and after showing their boxes oriented that way. And I was like, that's genius. Why have I never thought of that? So I'm much happier with the way that it looks now. I think it flows much better and it's much easier to see what we have and get something out and put it back. Then yesterday we went and picked out our Christmas tree. We have high ceilings in our living room, so we need a taller, like a nine foot tree. Um, we actually had to go to four different Christmas tree lots to find it. The first two were where we've gone to look for trees in the past and the tree lots weren't there. So I don't know if it was like a financial thing that they didn't want to take on this year or what, but they were not there. Uh, so then we went to the next lot and I could tell right away when we pulled up that all the trees were like maybe six feet, five feet. And, um, we would just rather have something that fills up the room a little bit more. So we did find a tree that is close to nine foot. So I put lights on it yesterday and I am going to need to get a few more sets. We used the C7 and C9, uh, LED bulbs. I think actually we've done this, we've done this our entire marriage. We were in the mall one day and we walked past American Eagle and they had just a bunch of evergreen trees, like Christmas trees in the front. And then they had these big, large bulbs. And Brandon was like, that would be cool to do for our tree. And so that's what we've done ever since then. Uh, but this year we were trying to make it a little bit brighter and Usually I'll try to ration out like, okay, let's do four for this section, three for this section, whatever. And this year I decided I'm just going to do it and I'm going to start wrapping and I'm going to get as far as I can and then I'll buy more. So I probably got about three fourths of it lit yesterday and we went by Walmart today after church and they did not have any bulbs. So I'm going to look on Amazon and see 
if I can find some. I also bought some batteries to go in all of our little battery powered twinkle lights. So I think we will do that now and just spend a little time hanging out. Um, we're actually going back to church because we've been doing some like Advent stuff um, as a series for the past couple of weeks and then getting ready for like kids Christmas stuff. Um, so yeah. One, two, three, four. Four batteries. <laughs> okay, we need to take the battery cover off. Okay. It slides off like this. Oh, these are corroded too. So we've run into a snag with replacing batteries. And that is that a lot of my things are corroded. Um, so two of the strands of twinkle lights and two of my luminaire candles. Um, one of them is really severely corroded. This one is moderately corroded. Um, the other one is so corroded that when I picked it up from this stand, it was dripping liquid. Um, so I don't know if I can recover from that. Uh, so my first step is just going to be to Google and see how you deal with that. Um, I really enjoy having those, so if they're ruined, I'm going to be sad about that, but we'll see. Um, two of the strands did work, so that was good. just got done cleaning off the battery terminals. Um, it took me a good little bit, um, but I was able to salvage one of the strands of twinkle lights and all of my luminary candles. So I'm really, really thankful for that. Um, I'm reminded of a post that Lydia Sin from Frugal Debt Free Life shared a couple months back talking about saving money and fixing things that you already have as opposed to buying new things. So that made me really happy that I was able to fix things that I already had. Um, it is 1030 now and I'm trying to get better about going to bed at a reasonable time. I think sometimes the kids go to bed and it's just like, okay, this is my time to get stuff done. And so then, uh, you know, like last night I got putting lights on the tree and then before I knew it, it was 1215 and I was like, Oh my goodness, I need to go to bed. I'm going to make a meal plan really quick because I'm going grocery shopping tomorrow and I will just talk to you then.